Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I have returned after, oh, I don't know, more than a year. Actually, how long has it been? Not counting the stuff that I had already recorded for the previous streams. Um, yeah, it's been 11 months since I played anything for the channel exclusively. And this time I'm playing something much different. I'm finally playing Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbender. No, um, although I should get on that. I did promise that like 15 years ago. Whoa! Anywho. I've been in the mood to play some point-and-click adventure games, and, uh, this one should be an interesting one. So there was a little software company called Sierra Online, founded by Ken Williams, and, uh, they'd been known for their Space Quest games and a few other things. No, uh, well, I ruined the punchline. I'm going to be playing Space Quest. Ugh, can I get a redo? I think I need a script. Anyway, let's get into it. Welcome. Light years from Earth's solar system, the people of the galaxy, Irnon, have been struggling to maintain a precious balance of life. The sun of Irnon is slowly dying. The planets grow cold. Food is no longer plentiful. Life will soon become impossible to s sustain. The scientific community at Xenon devised a plan to convert one of Irnon's lifeless sun planets into a new sun. The effort was centered around the development of a device called the Star Generator. The Star Generator would be capable of igniting an otherwise useless planet into a raging ball of flame. An expedition set out aboard the starship Arcada to successfully complete development and testing of the Star Generator. The Arcada is now returning triumphantly to Xenon with the fully operational Star Generator. You serve as a member of the Arcada as a janitor. That's right, a janitor. Not a very good one. You would probably have been sacked and replaced were the Arcada not millions of kilometers from Xenon. As we join our story, you have just completed one of your famous on-shift naps in one of your janitorial storage closets. Oh yeah, listen to that Tandy 3 voice. You don't get that in MS does. I'm actually playing this through Scum VM. Now. Because that's the only way I could do this. I guess I have to hit enter. Welcome aboard, Arcada. To log in as a crew member, please enter your name. It asks for a first name, but if you hit enter, it just says Roger Wilco. So I'll just say Roger, just to be slightly different. You are startled, but should I read this like Gary Owens? You are startled by the sound of an alarm. It's it is followed by an urgent voice which warns that the Arcada has been boarded by. I can't do Gary Owens to save my life has been boarded by unknown intruders. It ends abruptly. And here we are. This is... Let's take on 036. Space Quest! I don't understand Quest. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I know something you do understand. 
K E N. Is it shipping yet? I want this thing shipping yesterday. I thought you said the graphics would be done last week. And that is exclusive to version 1.0x of this game. I'm not going to be playing 1.0x of this game, but I wanted to show that off. So let's back out and uh, play the real version, the, the version I atten intended to play. There it is, version 2.2, .2, released in 1987. This game is so old. I probably shouldn't make you sit through this again. I'm pretty sure the I'm pretty sure the credits and the story are the same. Although the text might be centered be better, I'm not sure. Let's. I'm tempted to find out. No, the text is still off-center. Alright, let's get on with it. Roger. You're startled, blah blah blah, it ends abruptly, and uh, Can't help me! I don't understand your request. Ken! Say what? Ken. Say what? Nah. Okay, so, here we are in the Arcada, and I may toss in music from the VGA remake of this, and then again, I may not. We're just going to play this at a nice, leisurely p pace. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Look. Look around. This is one of the many hallways in the Arcada. If you say so, bub. Look, flashing light. There is a red light. Al there is a red flashing alarm light here, which seems to be indicating that you had better get moving. Excuse me. I think I'm just gonna hide in the closet. You have just stumbled into a small, dark, and very cluttered utility closet. Many things fall, most of them landing on you. Doesn't say much for your cleaning prowess. Sort closet. I don't understand sort. Look closet. You can't see anything in here because it's dark. Look closet. It looks dark in there. <laughs> I love that they made a specific message for if you have the door open, but... Anyway. There's nothing in there. Nothing of interest in there. Actually, look, hall. All right. Look, door. This lead. This door leads to the data archive. Look, closet door. Are you sure you want to look at that? Pretty sure. This is the closed door to the closet you napped in. Yeah. So as you may have guessed, I'm going to be playing this at a leisurely pace. I am not a space quest expert of any kind. I just like space quest. Look, chair, nah. The door opens, and a man you recognize as one of the lab scientists enters. He appears injured. After only a few steps, he slumps to the floor. 
look cyan sci sci scientist sci scientists scientist a large laser hole has been burned through his uniform burned in his uniform through which you can see previously unexposed tissue struggling painfully he raises up on one elbow kneel oh he tells you the arcada is under attack and that the star generator is in danger the last metroid is in captivity you'd better leave if you value your life he looks over toward the shelves of the cartridges and utters the words, Astral Body. He then settles onto the floor, lifeless. Astral Body. I'm writing that down in a different window. Search Corpse. Your search of the damaged body's co po pockets knits. Only some heat-fused chunks of varying sizes, which were probably melted by a poultry blast. Nothing to waste time on. Kick. Scientist. Good grief, Roger. You're a bit twisted, I must say. <gasps> I lost a point for that! Oh my god! Can I do that again? Nope. <laughs> I lost a point. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> I don't understand apologize. I really don't. <laughs> Look, terminal. I don't understand terminal just as well. The phrasing on that was... Look at computer. The console consists of a screen, keyboard, and cartridge slot. Atop it rests a Model DX cartridge retrieval unit. Examine unit. This is a Model DX cartridge retrieval unit. It is used to retrieve cartridges. It is currently empty. Take unit. There is nothing here by that name which can be acquired. All right. Use use computer. That is currently not one of the options. Turn on computer. I don't understand your request. Look at screen, you fool. Welcome to the Arcada Data Archive. Model DX Storage and Retrieval System. Select the cartridge, enter the title below. Press enter to quit. Title catalog available only with top security clearance on available with top security clearance only. Um, let's try Alpha Centuri. Searching. Title not available. Star Generator. Searching. Title not available. Ken Williams. Searching. Title not available. Alright. Astral Body. Searching. Title found. Retrieving. Look at shelves while I'm at it. Looking at the wall, you see shelves full of data cartridges which can only be removed by the retrieval unit. Take carts. I don't know. Look at unit. It is currently holding a cartridge. Take cartridge, 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 help. Take cart, I don't know. Thank you. I don't understand your request. That's the inventory, by the way. You can bring up the inventory by hitting tab at any time. Look at cart. Ridge. This is a data storage cartridge. On it are the words Astral Body Formation, the untold story.
So I'm sure there's a reason I got that. Look at table. Table is used for holding things above the floor. Wow! Look at chairs. It looks like many other chairs you have seen in your lifetime. Look around. This is the Arcada's data archive. Many volumes of information are stored on the data cartridges. There is a computer console here. Yeah, I keep getting ahead of myself. I need to start looking around. Because I played this game... Not this version specifically, but I played this game a lot, so... I know some things. Look at... Dead body. It appears to be one of your crewmates. He is non-functional. You bet. Search non-functional body. I don't understand non-functional. Search body. You search the body of your crewmate and find a key card. Take key card. You take the key card. Kick corpse. Good grief, Roger. Oh, you only okay. I I'm gonna stop doing that now because I'm I've only you can only lose the one point, I guess. Let's see, was there anything this away? Just an elevator. Oh. I keep forgetting to look around. There's another hallway aboard the Arcada. There is an elevator door nearby. You're na -na 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 near an elevator. Goodbye. Yeah. No? I'm going to be angry if this kills me. Okay, there feels, it seems like there's some rooms that this just doesn't work on. Search body. Your reward for your search is nothing. Thanks a lot, pal. Look at computer. I look around. This is the Star Generator Development Laboratory. Due to your incredibly low security clearance, you have never been allowed in here. Allowed to access this room. Look at panels. Look at panel. Your mind is boggled in an attempt to understand the function of the various buttons, switches, lights, and displays. It appears the board is not operating. Well, press buttons. I don't understand your request. Look at pedestal. I probably spelled that wrong. Look at platform. There's an empty pedestal. There we go. There's an empty pedestal here. It looks like it's it is used to hold some large object. Maybe the star generator. Look at screen. That's handy to know. I have a lot more time than I thought. Anyway. Self-destruct mechanism has been armed. Evacuate ship immediately. This is not a test. Although it is a test of patience for you guys, I suppose. <laughs> search body. Me, I'm having a blast, so... You search the body and find nothing. Although I think I got a point for either just coming in here or looking at the screen or something. I don't know. Did I already search this body? I think I did. Oh, wait, did I look around in there? Look outside. Look at Starfield. Look at stars. Gazing out at the stars reminds you of how far you are from home. 
I won't be doing that often. Nobody, nobody likes that. I think I hear footsteps. I think I'm going to leave now. I... Okay, we're good. Search body. A quick search of the body turns up nothing. Have I been here before? I don't believe so. Unable to see anyone here, the alien leaves to search elsewhere. I mean, there's only a finite amount of places to go. This is a section of one of the lower levels of the Arcada. Look at wall. Look at door. Look at corpse. Fair enough. How about now? You see a body here. It is a formerly live crewmate. Search corpse. You, your search of the laser-riddled corpse reveals... Nothing. Look at big lights. Look at lights. There's a red flashing alarm light, which seems to be indicating that you'd better get moving. Now, I already knew that. Look, um, look around. You're in the central control area of the Arcada. The reactor domes... Oh, okay. The reactor domes pulsate irregularly, as if they had been tampered with. This does not look good. Though the window just above the control... Through the window just above the control console, you can see down into the vehicle bay below. Search, corpse. You search the damaged body of your fellow crewman. You get too close a glimpse of the injury. Oh. In the pockets you find? Nothing. Look at domes. The domes cover access tubes to the Arcadi Arcada's power plant. They are bolted closed since they seldom require maintenance. Look at bay. Your limited view shows that there is a large vehicle bay below. Look at control panel. On the console by the window are two buttons marked open bay door and close bay door. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I think I confused the parser. I think the parser was like, what? But there was no error message. Open the pod pid, pod bay doors, hal. Okay, fine, be that way. Push open bay door button. Thank, th th thank you. Search corpse. You search the corpse and turn up? Nothing. Look around. This is one of the mid-level decks of the Arcada. Look at panel. The keycard unit is a small sturdy box with a slot. Just above it is a display light which is not currently on. Inventory. Keycard. Examine keycard. The keycard is a flat, rectangular piece of synthetic material which is magnetically keyed for passing check stations. Written in tiny letters are the words, Beacon Hinder Security Systems. If you could hear that, excuse me, but I tried to mute the mic. Use keycard. Use keycard. You slide the keycard into its slot. You hear an audible click. You take back the keycard. Do it again. Alright, look, 
panel. Uh, the light is currently on. That means this door is unlocked. What? Uh, look at marquee. Look at screen. Look around. This is a flight prep room. This is the flight prep room of the Arcada. As you can see, there is a sign on the back wall, as well as two closet doors and two buttons. Now, before I continue, I'm going to see if, yeah, come at me. Come at me? Hello? Fastest. Zoom! I'm trying to get myself killed, darn it. I don't know if this is a bug with Scum VM or what. It's just sometimes you hear the footsteps and nothing happens. Anyway, the alien observe the alien observes his handiwork briefly, then leaves. As you lie on the floor in a smoldering, carbogelatinous heap, you can't help but wonder why you bothered getting up this morning. I hear that. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue playing this skillfully, if you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. And better luck next time. Does an auto save? I didn't know I had one of those. There's something else I want to do too. Look at Alien. You see a Sarian clad clad in red battle gear. You better hope he it doesn't see you. Talk to Sarian. You talk to that sprawled corpse. Strangely, you don't get it. Uh, all right. Alas, it does not open. You <laughs> have adorned the door with a small circle of nose grease. <sighs> Were you Carl Malden, it could have gotten ugly. <laughs> That's before my time, even. Use key card again. U use key card. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay. Warning, bay doors are open. When does that ever stop me? Open door. The doors are controlled by buttons. You must push the appropriate one. Well, what if I don't want to? What if I just want to knock my way through? You ever thought of that? I don't understand knock. Well, wait a minute. I guess it does understand, Knock. Examine panel. The console is adorned with many status indicators. One button on the right is marked airlock. Push. Airlock button. How, have I, how did I not just explode? Time. I don't understand time. Yes, I'm doing this on purpose.
Oops, forgot my suit. Kapow. That concludes your experiment involving the effects of total vacuum on the human body, Roger. And that's why I named it Roger, because it would come up Roger Wilco, and that seems a little formal. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed mis- eh. Yeah. Let's see. F7 restores the game. F9 restarts. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Wait, no, the pod bay doors are already open. Open the airlock, Hal. Push airlock button. Examine airlock door. Examine door. Okay. Wait, what'd that say? This is the elevator you came into the room from. I'm still not close enough. Examine doors. There are two doors here which are controlled by buttons. Examine buttons. There are two buttons here. A left button and a right button. Examine left button. That does not seem to be in sight right now. Okay. Push left button. Push right. Right button. Examine left closet. Seems to be an electrical gadget of some sort. Examine right closet. You see a flight suit hanging in the closet. Take gadget. And equip flight suit. Wear suit. Take suit. Take quit. Take suit. Examine uniform. You're dressed in standard issue excur excursion garment. Take suit. You won't be needing that suit anymore. Examine self. Examine me. Examine ego. Examine Roger. Ro Rogette. Ah, look at yourself. I give up. This seems like an ample opportunity for another death. Or three. First there's this one. <coughs> nice sound. Well, Roger. That was a smooth hat gainer into the elevator shaft. Did you decide you would think more clearly? Would your brains reorganized? <laughs> At that in the lower right there, did that box just pop out of nowhere? Whee! Congratulations, Roger. You have found your way off the Arcada and escaped obvious danger. Unfortunately, you will never be seen or heard from again as you float gracefully through the heavens for all eternity. Examine control panel. Looking at the console... You see a, pla a button mark platform. There are also some gauges which don't interest you. I'll be the judge of that. Look at gauges. Get gauges? Gauges. Gauge? Examine panel. G A U G E. Examine G A U G E. Alright then. Push. Flat. Platform button. Thank you. What else was I doing? Look around. This is a cavernous vehicle bay. Examine escape pod. This is one of the Arcade's escape pods. 
You vaguely remember receiving some orientation on these when you joined the crew. Open escape pod. It's already open, but why not? Close escape pod. That doesn't seem to be the correct action in this case. I'll be the judge of that. But enter escape pod. Exit escape pod. That actually worked. Enter escape pod again. And I think there's an opportunity for another death here. Look around. You were sitting in the pilot seat of the escape pod facing toward the window. There was a dark console before you, and the seatbelt straps at your side. Confused as to what you should do, you wish you would have paid more attention during crew orientation. Exit pod. Fastus. I just remembered one more uh, death that's worth showing off. I mean, probably not, but okay, I'm I'm toast. No. Wow, nice shot. That's not what I meant to do at all. Where's the autosave put me? Oh, okay. Exit pod. Fastest. That's the fastest I can go. Oh, come on. Let me through. Thank you. It'll be funny. Normal. Examine screen. Fastest. There we go. Now we just wait. Kiss your butt goodbye. I don't understand your cry. Kaboom! Oh! It skipped the text box because I hit enter. Well, of course, now I've got to do that again. Ugh. I didn't think this one to... Well... I don't necessarily have to go all the way back up there. I'm going to go out that port if I if I keep doing that. I know it. Absolutely riveting. Isn't it? The countdown stop. Yep, there we went. Gosh, Roger, it would appear you have met an untimely demise. 
with the explosive destruction of the Arcada, you have be you become part of the fresh collection of space debris. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, use seat belt. Uh, wear seat belt? No, wait, don't wear seat belt. I have a better idea. Look at panel. The console consists of a screen, pod stasis indicators, a throttle, and some buttons. The buttons are marked auto nav, power, and don't touch. Push, don't touch button. It has no effect now. Push, power, button. Examine panel. Alright, examine screen. Escape pod systems activated, ready for instructions. The emergency program initiated. Pull throttle to execute launch sequence. Push, don't touch button. It has no effect now. Pull throttle. Please buckle your seatbelt first. <laughs> well, okay. Buckle seatbelt. Done. Pull throttle. The door is ajar. Fair enough. Close door. Exit. You can't. You're buckled into your seat. Pull throttle. Actually, push auto auto nav. Look at screen. Push auto nav again. You've already done that. All right, pull throttle. Escape pod moves slowly out of the vehicle bay and into space. Congratulations, you have narrowly escaped an explosive death. Don't start patting yourself on the back just yet, though. You are now aimlessly, uh, traveling aimlessly through the cosmos.